find the solutions of trigonometric functions using the TI-83 calculator. For this video and video similar to these, visit the website www.titutor.com. Let's solve and round to the nearest hundreds the function tangent square x plus tangent x minus 2 equal to 0 in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Here's the calculator solution. First we'll change the mode of our calculator to radians. So we'll enter the mode area. We'll scroll down to radian. If radian is not selected, you'll select it and press enter. And now I'm going to return back to the home screen, which is the quit function. So I'll press second and mode. Next we'll enter the equation into the calculator. So we'll use the y equals. And we'll put in the function tangent x. We'll close off the argument for x. And then we'll square plus the tangent of x. We'll close off the argument for tangent minus 2. Since we're graphing a trig function, we'll use the zoom trig, which will put our x-axis in radian measure. We want the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So we'll press window. We'll change our x minimum to 0. I'll press enter. I'll change my x max to 2 pi. I'll press enter. I'll leave everything else the same. And now I'll regraph. In order to find the solutions, in essence, we're finding the x-intercepts or the zeros of the function. And based on the graph, there are four x-intercepts or four zeros or four solutions. Next, we want to calculate the intercepts or the zeros. So we'll use the zero function, which is located in, within the calculate function. So we'll use second and trace, which is the calculate function. We want the zero. So I'll choose the zero and I'll press enter. Now we'll find the leftmost intercept or zero. And in doing so, we must set a left bound, which means that we must move our cursor to the left of our zero. So I'll simply hold down my left arrow and I'm going to move the cursor to the left of the zero. And I'm to the left of the zero. I'm going to press enter and notice that a sideways triangle appears and it lies to the left of my zero. Now we're asked for a right bound. Now we'll move our cursor to the right of our zero. We'll press enter. Notice that a sideways triangle now appears to the right of your zero. Now the calculator acts for a guess. For guess, we simply press enter. The x-intercept is the solution, and we will round this to 0 0.79. To find the next intercept, we'll simply repeat the process. So we'll use the 0 function, which is within the calculate. So we'll use second and trace. 
we want the zero I'll press enter we want to calculate the zero here so we'll set a left bound so I'll move the cursor to the left of my zero I'll press enter now I'll set a right bound I'll press enter for guess I'm gonna press enter and we have a zero of 2.03 now we'll calculate the third zero so once again we'll go into the calculate we'll use the zero function we'll set a left bound I'll press enter we'll set a right bound I'll press enter again we always press enter for guess and we have a zero of 3.93 We'll calculate the last zero in the interval from zero to two pi. So we'll enter the calculate. We'll use the zero function. We'll set a left bound. We'll set a right bound. For guess, we'll press enter and our last intercept point is 5.18 thanks for watching